still enjoying the show. Yeah, so there's going to be mild spoilers in this one. Not a ton, uh, but just be warned as we go. I'm still enjoying this. It's still a lot of fun. Still has a ton of personality. I didn't quite enjoy it as much as the first episode. I think that the pacing maybe got to me a couple times, but I also had just watched Obi-Wan Kenobi very early this morning and was very distracted by the events of that episode and reading about it. So I think that may have played a part into my feelings there. I still think Kamala is a very endearing character. The little dance music number she has was incredible, very bright, very heartwarming, just very wholesome in a lot of ways. And as someone who's a Christian, uh, it doesn't bother me watching Muslim characters. I don't expect non-Christian companies to cater to what I believe and all superheroes to be Christians. That being said, they're not gonna demonize Islam the way that Christianity is often demonized in the media. So there is a bit of a double standard, but that has nothing to do with the show's particular production. And I'm just enjoying the story as it is. I find the teenage coming of age elements very relatable. And there's some tropey stuff in this episode that I get a little like, oh, okay, here we go on, such as the romance. But I'm interested with the whole, with the new character, Kamran, and where he's going to play into it, and his mother, and how damage control is going to continue to play into it. I thought it was really sweet seeing Kamala save that boy, but she kind of does it in a way that still gets him hurt, so she has a lot of room to grow as a character and in her abilities. I'm interested in where the backstory of her family and the bracelet is going to go. Still not a big fan of how they've changed her origin and powers. I'm willing to be sold on it, but I'm not there yet, but it could change by the end of the show. But yeah, there's not a ton to talk about. It's not like there's any earth shattering crazy things that happen. It's just a very fun coming of age superhero show right now. And I'm pleasantly surprised by it still. And I hope it retains that wit, that charm, that personality that really makes it leap off the screen and feel like a comic book come to life. Have you started Miss Marvel yet? Are you waiting to binge it? Or are you too distracted with Kenobi as well? Let me know in the comments. And remember, always look for the good.